Hey guys, good morning. It's a beautiful morning where I am. Yes, it's bright, it's sunny. Yeah, for some days it has not been raining and I think we are towards the, um, the, the dry season. Yes, it's just a starting point. It's not yet extremely dry. But we are doing something in our compound today and actually we had already started as you can see. <laughs> But on a second thought, I was like, okay, why shouldn't I really share it with these guys? Because, you know, this has always been the area I've been using for doing my, my, my chores at home. So you could be wondering how whatever we are going to make here came in without me showing you. So I decided to share it with you because one day I'm going to make another video here and you're going to be wondering, but how did she do that in my background? So right guys, right here I am going to make a stand. I don't know if name it's in English, honestly. But we are going to do here a stand for... For, 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 for hanging our utensils, like for sun drying, we are opting to do this because where we always put it is a bowl. I'm going to show you inside that. It's a bowl and water always collects under it. So we opted to do it this way so that the sun can heat it and I think it's going to make it more clean. Um, just to avoid the repetition of if you remember I was sick and I was sick for some, I think about a week or something back. So I, we are just trying to intensify the hygiene. Yeah, that's the reason we are going to do this, guys. So we had already said it. As you can notice also, our lemongrass, we had cleared some part of it. I had started to do the work. We had started to do the work without sharing it. But like I told you, I had a second thought and I was like, okay, fine, let me do it with my family here online. So guys, let's continue. <laughs> so John, oh, let me first... This is John. <laughs> you could be wondering, but who is John is working with today? He's called John. We always do compound work. To, okay, he helps actually a lot here, by the way. So he's helping me as well today. But you know, there is going to be a point where I'll not manage because we are going to climb trees, cutting here and there. So that's the reason we are sharing work together. So this right here is a panga. First, we call it a panga. I've noticed some of you call it a market. Yeah, we are going to to cut some trees as well. <laughs> some tree branches for making our stand here guys. So let's continue. So what I'm going to do is to be picking up the bricks as he clears the, the weed around. Guys, we are going to look for some uh, tree stems because this is what we are going to use for making the stand. Oh, by the way, guys, our potato. In fact, I think I should first check it. June. Let me first check, guys. Our potato is, I guess, we are soon harvesting. <laughs> Got faster than me. <laughs> All right, so here we are, guys. You want to see it? <laughs> Our potatoes are almost ready. Actually, this is ready. I think we should come and invest and eat some. In Jamel, we are surely going. I think actually we are going to eat this tomorrow. Okay, let me first not pluck it out, but let me pluck it out. We are going to eat it. But tomorrow we are going to cook these sweet potatoes and some other sauce, guys, because I can tell this is ready. Wow, have a look guys, these are mangoes growing. 
you know, during, uh, from around May, we eat a lot of mangoes, like you can see. Right here, we're under another mango tree. There's another one there. There are others there outside, and of course, behind, behind the potato garden also, there are some mangoes, the guys. So, you know, when we're eating them, we always throw the seeds around, so you can see they started to grow again. A lot of them, I can see a number of them, very many. I notice. <laughs> so what's some mangoes grow? It could be there and you had literally never seen a mango tree starting to grow guys. I just showed you. Okay, we are going to start cutting them. We were just trying to, <laughs> we're actually adding them on the length. <laughs> but we finally agreed. Guys, I think I wish I'd really shown you how this was made. But I, that was, I was actually, I used to cook outside. If you remember, really, if you started watching my videos way back, I used to cook outside before we made this. So I really wish I'd even shown you how this was made. But it's okay. I'll be sharing with you every single thing. Don't worry, you won't miss anything. That's how we call them by doing that sound she's making. So they eat anything like that, like tomatoes. <laughs> that's why she's doing that. You see us? We just did it, guys. So this is actually how we make our. I don't know how it's called. Is it a utensil stand or what? Because honestly, I don't know it how to call it in English, but of course, I know it in my language because it's a traditional thing. Really. So we wash dishes. That actually, I think let me just show you. This is how we used to hang them, guys. We could wash and just leave it on the sand to dry like that. But you know, by the fact that this thing is covered from down and the water is not draining, it's pouring out, it is not very good still. So someone advised me that I should really do this. So why not? So apparently, you just hang and spread the utensils on top of it like that. And if they're dry, we pack them in the evening, put it back, and put it back into the kitchen. So that is it, guys. <laughs> Maybe I actually leave them to dry. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Uh, please let me know if you guys have this kind of a thing in your village. Or let me know how you guys find your utensils. 